Hello, this is Gary Kuhn, Managing Director of Finer Wealth Management, and I'm here with Mike Finer, CEO of Finer Wealth Management. And we're taping this at the beginning of January 2018. Uh, we're actually, we're very proud. This is our 22nd year in business uh, this year, uh, since 1996. And we thought it'd be helpful at the beginning of the year, particularly in light of the uh, significant legislative um, achievements at the end of the year uh, by the, by the uh, United States Congress and, and the President that we would talk about what we see moving forward uh, with respect to the um, investment world for 2018. I'll turn it over to Mike. Thanks so much, Gary. Happy New Year, everyone. There's no question that 2017 was an excellent year for the U.S. economy and for the stock market. At the end of 2017, we were expecting that 2018 might be a more muted year for the stock market because of the excellent year in 2017. However, our outlook has changed a little bit as we've experienced a surge in global earnings for multinational companies. And as interest rates persist at a very low level from 2017 to 2018, and with the US dollar weakening, all of these macroeconomic factors and microeconomic factors tend to lead to a potentially very strong stock market for 2018. And along with that, we think that the uh, tax reform package that was passed at the end of last year um, adds some tailwinds oh, to, that, uh, to that prognostication. And along with that, we're seeing um, companies announce new hiring in a, um, in a context of already quite low now unemployment. The uh, uh, unemployment rate at the end of 2017 was, I believe, 4.1%. And so um, the consumers are, uh, are um, obtaining a better uh, income uh, as a result of that, or we expect that that will continue to sort of taper up. And that adds uh, additional resources going into the economy on the part of the consumer, which then filters through uh, companies and their earnings, which then filters into uh, potential equity returns being strong. Yeah, we really cannot overemphasize the stimulation that this tax bill is going to provide. It's the first time in a generation, really since 1986, that we've had stimulation from a tax package, both fiscally and monetarily, that will drive significant achievements, both in aggregate demand for the overall economy, and more specifically, in earnings for companies. Because of the lower tax rates, especially on the corporate side, companies now have extra earnings per share, which yield to higher stock market valuations. With that, we expect uh, uh, an improving stock market into 2018. However, with that, we also expect uh, additional volatility into 2018 because the stock market arguably, and, and everyone realizes, has made moves that have been very significant and the market doesn't typically tend to go straight up without some significant corrections. And we anticipate that we uh, expect at least two corrections of anywhere from 5% or more during 2018. And of course, there are any number of events that uh, could cause that, um, including the fact that this is an election year. Here we are again, another election year. And uh, as we enter that kind of a cycle, sometimes because of all the advertising that isn't always positive, uh, that can have uh, an impact a short, typically uh, short term, because we do think that the underlying aspects of the economy and the tailwinds that we talked about will be supportive of equity returns. Um, we see, continue to see uh, quite low um, inflation. Uh, we see across the world improving uh, and strengthening economies, both in the emerging markets and the developed markets, which also helps uh, U.S. companies uh, as they look to grow their earnings. So uh, for these variety of factors, um, we think that overall, this should be a strong year, particularly for equities, perhaps not so much in, in the area of bonds. Right. I, I would reinforce the bond conversation in that 
We are expecting interest rates to increase. They already actually have increased in the past few weeks by 10 to 15 basis points. And we're expecting further increases in interest rates, which actually have lower bond prices. So we have to be very careful about owning bonds and the relative value of bonds unless you hold them until full maturity. With that though, with rising interest rates, this is the first time in a long time that you can actually leave cash in either a bank account or money market account and actually receive some reasonable amount of interest. Not anything like 20 years ago, but a lot better than two or three years ago when there was 0% uh, in savings accounts or money market funds. So there is some modest rate of return for cash in accounts. So that will be a positive for 2018 as well. So that's sort of our prognostication as we are here taping in January of 2018. We hope you continue to watch our videos throughout the year and we'll react to events as they occur and developments in the economy as they unfold. And again, we appreciate your time and thank you for watching.